Pete, how you doing, guys? On this one, I'm doing a little something different. I'm basically going to show you a commercial um, water heater setup. Um, it's kind of like a retrofit type of setup. What, what we have there is a commercial water heater. It's almost like a boiler type of setup. And they had, um, I went over there and I reworked this system about eight months ago, I guess. They had two copper storage tanks there, probably 75 gallons a piece. And um, what I did was I reworked it. I just used one tank because I had two tanks there and it wasn't even wasn't even set up right it was piped the piping was a mess and I set it up so it would work properly and I basically just go over the operation with you uh, I got called in over there that they had no hot water so I went over there today and I didn't find anything wrong with it tempering valve might be a little issue but uh, what they have there is like a um, he had dressed an academy type of thing where they have a lot of sinks and it's a school type of thing so um, basically what you have there is uh, a boiler type of thing that's the that's made for domestic water that heats the water up and it circulates through a copper tank storage tank that's got um, an asbestos type of blanket on it it's a real old thick copper tank but I'll go over the operation I just thought I'd bring something a little bit different to you guys and Hopefully you enjoy it. Try to mix it up and uh, different things that I see that are different that you guys might not see. I'll kind of bring it. I'll bring it to the table here so you get to see and experience what's going on out there. All right, guys. I just want to go over this um, setup with you. So when you see the setup I have, you get an understanding for what's happening uh, with the system. What you have here is... Um, a domestic water boiler. Now, it's not a regular heating boiler like you'd have in a house. This is for domestic water. This being a commercial application. This would be all bronze or copper inside this coil. It would be like a loop inside here. Um, can't have any black pipe, no black circulators. A circulator would be bronze. This is nothing. Nothing in this system would be black. It's either going to be uh, brass, copper type of thing. Okay? So basically what you have is you got the water coming in from the city to cold water feed. You'd have a backwater check valve or a backwater um, 9D backflow device coming in. You'd have an expansion tank. Now this expansion tank is rated for domestic domestic water. So it would have a three-quarter tap. It's not a, a expansion tank you'd see on a, um, a boiler system in the house. It, it is for the, um, domestic water. There's a difference. You know, and then what happens is as this, you got your water heater here, and then this is the heating device. So, if with a call for water, the water would come in here, it'd go into the tank. You always go into the bottom of the tank here. If you ever see a, a tank that's got the two tappings on the top, the cold water line always has a dip tube that goes in the bottom of the tank. So, the water's always going in the bottom of the tank to get mixed. If not, the cold water would come in, and right out the hot, it would just. You, you would you'd have no hot water. So it always the cold water has to go into the bottom. Drain off the bottom of the tank. On this particular device, um, you would have a relief valve, probably set at 125. Um, this boiler here is probably going to run at like, you know, 60 to 70 pounds pressure at all times because it's domestic water. It's not a regular heating system in a house is uh, 12 to 15 pounds they run at. Um, you'd have a bronze circulator here, so you'd have a T-stat in the tank that would basically turn the circulator on. You'd have a flow check somewhere, um, like a sail switch somewhere in here that would that would fire this boiler also. It doesn't show that in the diagram here. So if you're not calling for any water and this T-stat calls, you'd circulate the water from the boiler. would get heated in the boiler and it'd get circulated through this loop here like this and heat this tank to whatever this T-stat set at. Um, you got a relief valve off the boiler. You got a relief valve off the heater here. Um, so that's the basic setup diagram, and I'm gonna go over the job I have so you get a feel for what's happening and what should be happening. Well, water comes out this tap in here. Whatever I want to set that at. It's going to run it at 140. Water comes down. 
in the bottom of the heater. Out the top of the heater. Put an expansion tank there. So we fell. And then it goes into the bottom. So as this holds the heat, and it circulates through this tank like this. So that tank heats this tank up for stored water. Complaining about no hot water. I think it's this tempering valve won't be an issue. I just turned it up a little bit. We're gonna try that. This is like a thermostat on the wall basically. Here it fire, the boiler. I have to oil that circulator. Let me get some oil for that circulator. It not sound all that good. Just put this circulator in. Try it at 150. We'll leave that up. <coughs> so the water comes out of this heater. An expansion tank there goes in into the bottom of the tank, and off that loop, I got a half-inch line that goes up to a sink upstairs. So every time they open that sink. Um, if there's any air in this loop, they'll bleed it out there. Goes into the bottom of the tank. Oh, this tap in here. Where the aquastat is. It's going to run the circulator. Down. Through the bottom. Through that sail switch. Float switch. I'm getting into the heater. That switch don't make. The boiler's not gonna fire. That's what here you're getting a good circulation through. And yeah, whatever that, whatever this is set at, will be the temperature in this big tank. And then the cold water comes in down into here. With that check valve, it only can go one way. Out the top, where the release valve is. With the mixing valve. Upstairs. Boom. When you heat water, it's got to expand 
the reason I had to put this in here is because of the check valve. Two check valves. We have a check valve, a double check or something, the water can't expand back into the cold water main. You have to put an expansion tank. And this is um this isn't a regular expansion tank you put on a heating system. This is one that you put on a domestic water system. Usually it's a three-quarter tap on it. That's how you tell the difference. The ones that got the half-inch tap off of um, you know, 15-pound systems. We make them for domestic and um, heating.